In one of our last videos, we stated that Sony will announce the A6700 on the 12th of July. And now, we're getting more confirmation on that news, also some leaked images are circulating around the web. So how this Sony A6700 will look like? Let's find out. From Sony Alpha rumors, we gotta see some leaked images of the Sony A6700. Here you can see the mode dialed below the shutter in the picture. Also, there are two custom function buttons and a dedicated recording button above it. Three microphone gaps can be seen after that and a tally of light is also apparent in the frame. The exterior is similar to the Sony FX30 which is a really good sign. Now in another image, you can clearly see the logo of A6700, so the naming is also confirmed. We think Sony is out to dominate once again in the mid-range camera segment. As we're getting close to the announcement date, let's check out the specs once again. When comparing specifications, there are major differences between the Sony A6600 and the upcoming Sony A6700. The A6700 is set to incorporate a superior 26.1 megapixel APS-C BSI CMOS sensor, surpassing the A6600's 24.2 megapixel, thereby enhancing image quality, particularly in dimly lit environments. Additionally, the A6700 will be outfitted with the advanced Bionz XR processor, surpassing the A6600's Bionz X, resulting in improved overall performance. And the most notable enhancement will be its ability to support UHD 4K video at up to 60fps, whereas the A6600 is limited to 30fps. This increased frame rate will result in smoother and more detailed video recordings. Moreover, the A6700 will introduce features like S-Cinetone and S-Log3, allowing users to personalize and enhance their video footage through various color grading options. These options will definitely enable precise adjustments to achieve the desired visual style. Furthermore, the A6700 is anticipated to support 4x2x2 10-bit internal recording, delivering improved color accuracy and enhanced detail in video recordings. So even if you're worried about the photography on a crop sensor, you're gonna enjoy the filming experience if you're to take the A6700 as your workhorse. But do these rumors even have any credibility? Let's try to understand Sony's perspective. Back in 2019, Sony introduced the A6400 camera, followed by the release of another APS-C camera, the A6600, with a span of 7 months. These two cameras shared several similarities such as the sensor, autofocus system, electronic viewfinder and weather-sealed body, among others. However, the key difference between them was the inclusion of image stabilization in the A6600 while the A6400 lacked this feature. This suggests that Sony may be planning to develop successes for both cameras, leading to the circulation of two sets of rumors. Notably, the A6600 was priced $500 higher during its launch than the A6400. If Sony follows this pattern, we can likely expect some major adjustments to justify the price hike. Sony has established itself as a leading brand in the camera industry over the years. One area where Sony particularly excels is autofocus technology, outpacing its competitors by a significant margin. Last year, Sony A7R5 showcased its commitment to advancement with the introduction of an AI-based autofocus system. This cutting-edge system features exceptional speed, reliability, and accuracy. Given Sony's track record, we can guess that this new AI-based autofocus system will be incorporated into their upcoming APS-C camera models. With the combination of this advanced sensor and AI autofocus, the anticipated A6700 will definitely deliver outstanding performance, solidifying its position as a top contender in the APS-C category. What do you think? Are you interested in the upcoming Sony A600? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below and consider subscribing for more content like this and as always, thanks for watching.